Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Imabuntu Linux, a very interesting operating system. It's based on Debian, but before we get started, do me a favor, like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, it's down below in the description. Also, if you like what the channel's doing and you would like to become a patron over on Patreon, just zip on over to Patreon with the link below and give eBuzz Central some backing. Imabuntu Linux. It's a very interesting operating system, like I was saying. Basically, this operating system was released for the simple fact that they wanted to save older computers. They wanted to introduce new people to Linux, and they thought the way to do it was to come out with a lightweight distribution. Let's go over to their website real quick. Let me pull it up. If you can see right here, this is their website. If you want to go check it out, it's imabuntus.org. And basically, it's all-in-one GNU Linux distribution. This distribution was designed to facilitate the reconditioning of computers donated to humanitarian associations, in particular to the IMOS communities, hence its name, and to promote the discovery of GNU Linux by beginners, but also extend the life of the equipment for limit the waste caused by overconsumption of raw materials. Imabuntu is used for the reuse of computers by many associations in France and Africa. And if you scroll down here, there's more information on their website. You can zip on over and check it out. What I thought was really nice is when you first boot up, it gives you the option to stay in XFCE or switch over to LXQT. I went ahead and stayed in the XFC environment so you can see what it looks like. So right here, this distribution is made to refurbish computers. You've got tutorials, tools, forum, videos, settings manager, Debian handbook, Debian reference, software center, and contribute. If you like what they're doing with this distribution and you back what they're trying to do, reusing older tech, zip on over to the contribute page and help them out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. You start up. This is the wallpaper you got. Let's right click and see if we can change that. Backgrounds, you do have many different backgrounds. They're all got a a heavy Debian base, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and pick that one. That looks pretty decent. You go up to the top panel, you've got your calendar, date and time. Then you've got sound settings, laptop battery, and your Ethernet. If you come over here and click over here, you've got your applications. And down here, as you can see, you have a dock. I like the way the dock's set up. Everything's quick. Let's go up and just see what we got up here. On accessories, you've got application finder, archive manager, arc, backups, bulk rename, caffeine, disks, calculator. You've got your regular Debian and GNOME set of apps. You've got the Thunar file manager. Let's go ahead and bring that down a little bit. That's kind of big. But you've got your usual suspects over here, and it is Thunar. Let's go ahead and check out which version. It is Thunar 1.8.4. It's fast, easy to use file manager. It's default on the XFCE. Then you've got your settings over here. You come back up. Cairo doc, which is the doc that you have installed. It's down on the bottom. You've got activation, deactivation, change, restore, launch, protect. You can lock it so it can't be changed. Then you've got development. You've got Genie and Squeak, education, child's play, gcompress, qix, libreoffice for schools, open board, search, stellarium, tux math, tux paint. You've got games, of course. And then graphics, you've got dark table, font manager. It comes with GIMP out of the box. Gthumb, you can batch processor, calibrate lens, LibreOffice Draw, LX Image, Scribus, Internet. You've got Chattens, Empathy, Falcon, FileZilla, Firefox, Frame-A-Drop, Frame-A-Pad, Frame-A-Talk, FreeTube, G-Potter, HexChat, Jamie, Pigeon, Steam, Thunderbird, Transmission, Wi-Fi, Multimedia. you got the Alsa Mixer. You got G Speech, Audacity, Asunder CD Ripper, Caffeine, Caden Live, Out of the Box, Pulse FX. This has got a good set of applications right out of the box. You can start doing office work. You can start doing video editing. You can start doing graphic manipulation with GIMP. I mean, it's got a great set of out of the box applications. Settings, About Me, Alsa Mixer, Appearance, Customize the Look of Your Desktop. Let's see what we can do over here. Styles, we're on Dark, Large Borders. What if we went arch dark? So that's a little bit lighter than what it was. How about add way to dark? Let's check that out. Icons. We got the revival icon theme. You can flip it over to the papyrus if you want to. And as you notice, things change down here. And then your fonts. If you want to make your fonts bigger, custom DPI. Let's go ahead and bump that up a little bit. It makes everything a little bigger. Of course, you can come up and change your fonts if you want to change what kind of font and then a specific size for that font. You can do that too. And then settings, show images on buttons, show images in menus. So that's that's pretty interesting. So let's close out of that. Back over to settings. We just looked at appearance. 
You can configure desktop, disk manager, display in Ubuntu desktop. You can configure your desktop, file manager settings, firewall configuration, fixed tearing if you have issues on a specific video card. Menu editor down here. You got home. You got your Firefox. You got communication. What is that? Oh, okay. So you got Thunderbird, Falcon, Pigeon Internet. Okay. So everything's, that's a group. And then Office. Oh, I like the way they got that set up on the dock. So you got your Office apps and then audio, video, free tube, caffeine, WinFF, VLC. You'd think they'd have Caden in there, but I guess you could put that in. That's no big deal. Photos. Okay, so everything's broke down into specific areas down here. That's nice. Guys, this is really impressive. I like it. It's lightweight, obviously. Let's go pull up Terminal and see what kind of resources we're using. So in HTOP, I've got two gigabytes of RAM issued to this machine. Right now, it's using 643 megs at rest with the console or terminal open and less than 1% of the two CPUs I have issued to this machine. This is a very lightweight, quick, snappy operating system. Okay, everybody, that was just a quick look at Imabuntu's. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I'm not butchering the name, but I'm very impressed. It's quick. It's snappy. It's XFCE. It's what you would expect. And I love the message. I love what they're doing. They're, they're wanting to introduce new people to Linux, but they're doing it with old hardware that's going to get thrown away. I think you ought to go take a look at it, download it, throw it on a USB, and I think you'll be very, very impressed. Let's reuse these old computers. Let's keep them out of landfills. Let's throw Linux on them. Let's put them in front of kids and let kids learn Linux. Let kids learn coding. Imabuntu, you got a thumbs up from me. Y'all tell me what you think of Imabuntu down below in the comments. Good, bad, or indifferent. Also, before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Doesn't cost anything. And at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. You can also, down in the description, hit me up on my socials. And if you want to become a patron to the channel, zip on over to Patreon and help us out a little bit. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.